this is not a all out sports motorcycle yeah. right so what we want to do is for people to have fun we want our customers we want other people to experience a different kind of fun and yes. and something like the gt cup would be tremendous fun and Well, the idea of Ponty GT Cup came alive in the Isle of Man when Siddharth Lal, Freddie Spencer, and I did a lap the TT circuit in 2019. When Freddie Spencer thought that it was a great package, which could turn into a nice race motorcycle, so it was our idea to make it into a retro race. What I like about the bike that we rode today is the agility and the relationship and, and its character. And, and it's fun. Yeah, I was looking forward to riding the Royal Enfield bikes. It's a passion. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a passion and it's that history that brings us together. And so, you know, if, when you bring that today at the Isle of Man and you bring that on a, on a fun mm -hmm. motorcycle, it's a great day. Many famous race riders and world champions either started their careers with Royal Enfield or at some point rode for them. Bill Lomas, who in the late 1940s won everything on his 250 and 350 bullets. In the late 1950s, at the Thruxton 500 mile race, Bob McIntyre came so close to winning. Then in the 1960s, the likes of Jeff Duke, five times world champion, who was involved in developing the 250 Continental GT. And short circuit ace, John Moonice Cooper, who rode the 250 GT eight times around the Silverstone race circuit as part of the thousand mile ride from John O'Groats to Land's End that launched that bike. Royal Enfield introduced the 250 Continental GT to meet this need of there not being an off the shelf production cafe racer. And the response to it was phenomenal. Young riders, inspired by their racing heroes, wanted to own the GT. Moving on to India, in 1973, G. Subhash Chandra Bose, also known as Bullet Bose, won his first race on a 350 Bullet. He then went on to win 10 All India Grand Prix on Bullets and became an absolute legend. In the 1980s, racing Crusaders and Furies were M.R. Rajendra and Aspie Bathina, both of whom had great success and many race victories. Now in 2021, Royal Enfield adds to that long and proud racing heritage with the GT Cup. Well, the beauty of these motorcycles for the GT Cup is that we really didn't have to change a whole lot. Basically, the, the stock Continental GT is a fantastic bike for getting out there and, and having fun on the track. See, the changes required to the Continental GTs are very, very few. Like, we take off all the electricals, basically headlamps, indicators, brake lamp, tail lamp, all of these. Because they are required to be removed for safety as well as they bring the bike light. We are running standard meters. We've disconnected the speedo because the speedo is the biggest distraction for any motorcycle rider. And we've raised the foot pegs and pulled them a little further back so they give you better ground clearance and better riding position. The fairing and the oil pan have been designed by the Royal Enfield UK Tech Center and made in India by. We'll have better racing tires. We have changed the front forks, made them stiffer, retuned the front forks and reload adjusters, removed all the electricals, put on race clip-ons, rear set foot pegs and new exhaust systems, which are a tuned link. It gives you about 12% more power and the bike is ready to go. So what these changes help us do is make everything a bit tighter on the bike, make it corner a little bit better, um, make it stability a little bit better. You know, when, when you look at a racing motorcycle, uh, what you're trying to do is, is place it in an extreme environment. You know, racing is not on the road. Everything happens a lot faster. The bike is a whole lot more sensitive. And so what we try to do when making the GT Cup bikes uh, is to tweak them um, just enough to, to help our riders uh, go around the track just that bit faster. You can build a racing bike within half a day. You can have a bike from street to a race bike in a corner contingent. The skill of the riders on each one on these motorcycles is going to be what helps them to win the races. You know, we want to give them an, an equal platform, and so in adding fairings and, and a windscreen and such, that helps us go that just a bit faster and makes the racing all that bit more interesting as well. Royal Enfield is all about touring and exploring. 
we want to bring in motorsport which is affordable and improve the skill of even a normal road rider. He may not want to take part in the GT Cup, but most welcome to come and join the riding school and improve his riding skills, which will help him on the road and on the track. Where the difference will be, it's going to be pure racing, retro racing, no electronics, unadulterated pure racing. Royal Entry is going to provide bikes, leathers, you just have to come with your boots and helmet and gloves and you can race a bike. So that's what Royal Enfield is giving you, a super platform to go racing and enjoy yourself. <music>